guys, I hope you enjoyed last week's episode. Uh, you might have noticed some familiar faces just then. That is Chris and Jolene Knapp. They are the Wondering Knapps on YouTube, so check them out. Uh, it's them and the three boys right now currently in Isla Mirada, uh, but going to be traveling by boat here pretty soon. Anyway, hope you enjoy this video. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And here we go. Hi there, I'm Chris. This is my wife, Jamie, and my daughters, Ava and Lola. Oh, and our dog, Maggie. We sold everything we had and bought our new home on water. Come along with us as we share our love for Jesus, people, and the oceans. We hope that you are inspired to share your faith with others, make memories together, and travel more. Thanks for watching and subscribe. Stock Island and we're about to anchor out. Drop it right, right where the current is, right? I know that's the current. Okay. Probably start backing up and it'll probably do it. school going? Good. What you doing? Reading. Reading what? Language arts. What's it about? The Belgian twins. The Belgian twins. Sorry, it's the Belgian twins, Daddy. It's not the Belgian twins. How are you feeling today? Nice. Huh? Okay. Where are we at? Stuck Island? Stock Island. I don't know why I keep saying Stuck Island. I even saved it in our we're weather in, predict or wind predict or whatever that is. We're in Stuck Island. As Stuck Island instead of Stock Island. 
we're right. stuck in Stock Island. Yes. We're not stuck, but it's a much nicer anchorage than the one in Key West. Yeah. So we didn't spend any time at Key West. It takes a little more work, but it's just more uncomfortable. You don't sleep as easy. You're afraid you're gonna drag. No, I'm talking about here. Oh, the anchoring, yeah. But once you can get anchored, I feel like if maybe you pros and cons. Like if you're anchoring with a buddy boat, then they're helping you tie the line, so that's nice. If you're anchoring by yourself, then one of you is tying the line while you're still the other one's manning the boat. So that'll be interesting when my mom and dad are here. But dad should know how to do the dinghy, so he can grab the line and tie us on. Yeah, we'll be able to do it. Something. We'll figure it out. We'll have this whole. Oh, yeah. um, but it's nice. It's a nice anchorage. I like it. I like you it. just don't have access to stuff like water and stuff. So if that's what you need, then we have access to water. Stock oh, on the Yeah, but you can't just pull in and say, "Fill me up with water." Well, just buy a little bit of gas. Yeah. Top off the tanks. That's they a really lot nice. to move the boat, though. Yeah. And then you would have to re-anchor, and that's such a pain in the ass. What is that? I saw the baby one. Mm. Yeah. So these were <laughs> destroyed when we uh, had our little incident one night. On our way to Kea Costa. On our way to, yeah. On our way to Sarasota that ended up being on our way to Kea Costa. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we lost one, and this one was pretty, pretty shredded. Anyway, so luckily we got the replacements for them. Yeah. And Until we lose those, and then we're yeah up but, a creek. Uh, this is uh, it looks like Sea Deck, but this the brand of it's actually called Marine Mat. And uh, anyway. Uh, we're ripping it up right now and we're gonna replace it really good uh, nice grip nice feel to it They're, they got a three-year limited warranty on it so uh, but since we had the replacements was gonna go ahead and do it anyway so it's right here and uh, I believe what we got to do is just we just got to clean this up nice and uh, make sure it's good and clean before we stick the other ones on but it's really it's just peel and stick Huh? You're good. Yeah. All right, so we've finished cleaning the bottom today. Uh, as good of cleaning as we're going to have anyway. And now Scrubbing the, uh, trying to get the rest of the goo off of the just different stuff off of the sugar scoop. So I just left West Marine. That is the uh, West Marine there, and it is the smallest West Marine I've ever seen. Uh, basically, they just cater to the you know kind of boat yard type needs, fishing. Uh, they're not the all-out clothing store and everything, but. Uh, that's fine because I don't need clothes right now. I just need uh, to get some wire and uh, just a couple little things to hook up the wind generator. But yeah, we're uh, it's pretty cool just walking around Stock Island. Um, it's not like all hoity toity, like it's kind of you know, you got trailers, uh, single wides, and just everywhere, and little just shops and things like that and people trying to make a living it's pretty neat everybody parks on the side of the road um, kind of reminds me of the like almost a little bit of Belize but uh, anyway yeah this is pretty cool I'm uh, super excited just to be able to go you know, take a walk and <laughs> get on land for a minute I do love the boat and all don't get me wrong but it's nice to be able to get out every now and then and Take a walk. Back. 
Why are you still in your panties? What you doing, fishing? Hey, buddy. I can't tell if he's hurt or not. Hey, buddy. He's going crab. All right, so we have right here the wires coming from the wind generator. And this right here is the brake switch. That is not an on-off switch. This is simply to turn it one way to slow down the blades. You don't leave it that way. Uh, only reason why you'd put turn that on is to slow down the blades so you can, um, in case certain wind situations, you need to slow them down to tie a line around the blades. Then we have... I have a positive right here if, and then a negative also coming from that but you notice that these are separated and that's because we're gonna put a 40 amp fuse where's that 40 amp fuse Ugh, I got a 40 amp fuse right here that I'm gonna go in between these two right here then this is going to go to the regulator. Now the regulator that comes with this is pretty simple. Uh, gen the wind generator positive so that that red is going to go there and then the ground is going to go here Then you have a 40 amp fuse just like this one that's going to go between this positive terminal to the positive battery terminal and then you'll have a ground that goes from here to the uh, ground on the power post. Now, of course you got, if you have two battery banks, if you're on a 24 volt system, then you would do the two. We're just on a 12 volt system, so that's fine. You got your uh, wind generator hooked up to the positive and the negative. You got the dump resistors all the way over here hooked up. All those are for is if the batteries get fully charged, it gets dumped over here. That's when the green light's going to come on right here or when they're at 100%. And then you got a fuse right here between the wind generator and between the battery on the positive side. Happy to say that it is working. So. Like their secret thing, they might not want this out. Like, this is, yeah, like, this is a secret. This is how they wow their guests. Yes, yeah, I'll just get sauce. a couple of little clips of it. Ready? Yep, three, hey, two. Okay, girls, this is our special little Korean barbecue dinner here. This is our special sesame oil. Put that on the hibachi grill here. We warm it up. Hey, are you paying attention? Attention. Hey, that's just lettuce. Yummy. All right, we heat it up, and we put some vegetables on. We cook those to a perfect tenderness, and then we get the meat, which is beef. Are you, uh, do you like beef? Okay, some beef. Then we load it inside of our lettuce uh, taco, lettuce taco. Spread a little bit of special Korean sauce in there. Put a little bit of sriracha. Spice. Spice. And then we eat it. One of these no, remote This way doesn't like sriracha. Like the, no, not that. Not mild enough. Yeah. <laughs> this way. This way. No, not this. This. Put your thumb up, Lola. You know how to do that. You're just being a toot. <laughs> I don't know how we do that. Dad. You don't know how All to right. do this? You did pretty good. Did pretty you good. know when we have ice cream? Oh, no, I can't do this. All right. Okay, girls, you ready? Step mind. number one. Push the power button. With everywhere we've been, places we've traveled, and the cool things that we've seen along the way, none of it compares with the people who God has placed in our lives. We are so thankful for who we've crossed paths with. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Be sure to hit the like button, leave a comment if you have a question. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. See you next time. Hey, monkey toes. Right. Right. Look, look. Now kick your leg.